Dixie Speedway, here we are. Uh, it's all back here and it's uh, all, all its allure and everything. I haven't even looked at the track yet. We just got it done. Mikey got the car all kind of prepped. Josh is looking pretty. Mom is in the trailer because uh, there's no room to set a merchandise trailer up there because it like falls off on the back of the banking. So then they got like this quarter mile stretch of tailgaters. Well, let me zoom in so you can see them. It's pretty cool, right? I mean, that place is packed. 150 acres of Dixie Speedway and zero acres to set a merchandise trailer up for Grubal Motorsports. What a loss there. I've called the track. I went out on one of their posts trying to find somebody to get a hold of before we drove eight hours with the merchandise trailer to say, hey, do we have a place set up? Make sure we're good. We get here and the answer is they don't like us, I guess. I don't know. So we got to put on a show tonight. We got to try to win a heat race or a dash or a something to try to get people to or feature it, man. We want a feature tonight. Then we get out there on the front stretch and tell them to come see us in the pits where we have a merchandise trailer that we weren't able to set up. And maybe we can sell some stuff at the end of the night. But this place is going to be packed. It's huge. It's a beautiful facility. Yet uh, we don't have anything that we can do with merch. I feel like we could sell a lot here and uh, we're not able to so it really sucks Russ is over there by the merch by the USCS trailer uh, maybe he's trying to find something out I don't know we'll see hopefully he draws us a good pill and we get a we have a good night I don't know. until then uh, we'll have this thing running here real soon make sure we don't have no fuel leaks we weren't able to fire it off at the house this week and uh, might balance the injection a little bit we'll see
Back for round two today. It's a whole lot quieter this time. We got here at noon and got lunch and stuff and holy crap, this place is busy. Man, what a hot weekend. You know, it's Tuesday night. I just got done kind of putting the all the footage together. I ended up not putting the visor camera in, so I'll just do that on the be behind the visor video and post it there. But man, t a couple days later, man, I'm still a little sour at the weekend. You know, I, I get it's hot, and, and first off, let's let's just talk about all the good to the track, right? Um, it's right near downtown Atlanta, so they got the availability of like packing the stands. They had a huge tailgating group that was really awesome. Um, I mean, they had cops for when you left the venue. I mean, they had cops all around. I mean, it was a very safe place, very pretty place, very well put together. Um, it looks like they spent a lot of money getting the track, getting, getting the venue nice. But they didn't spend a lot of money making it to where the track surface was nice. Now, I get there's many series that like a hard pack track like a slick track because all of those classes either run like a street radial tire they're not going quite as fast so it's just momentum um they're able to build a lot of bite into their cars through rear steer and all that fun stuff we just can't really do that and i mean me personally i'm still figuring out how to run these slick tracks so when it gets slick like that i'm still a little frustrated anyways but um man i mean it was from lap one as soon as we went on the track they ran like an open practice before us they ran like three or four test sessions throughout the whole night like in between races and the track was just wore out slick from go like they watered the crap out of it it's 100 degrees i get it and water is gonna evaporate but if your surface is rock solid, water can't absorb into it. If it can't absorb into it, then you're never going to have bite later on. I mean, I'm telling you, from the moment I hit gas just to test it on the top side and practice, it was just blue dust. And it was like half throttle, quarter throttle through the corners. I mean, in the future, I was all the way off the throttle in the corner sometimes. I mean, lighting the brakes up, probably went through a set of brake pads this weekend. And we only ran one night. Um, sounds like the the track Blue Ridge Sugar Creek was a really hammer down around the top kind of track, a little rough. But like, man, I'd rather have like a little bit of rough as a character and have something where we can drive a sprint car on. Cause sprint, like we're supposed to like haul the mail, man. Like we're supposed to go, we're supposed to be like on the edge of our seat and be fast and like it was just. I mean, we weren't fast in the future, right, right? We didn't finish very well. But it was just like on the throttle, on the brakes, get through the corner, roll on the throttle, get on the brakes. Roll th like, it, like, I never really felt like I was driving the car. Never felt like I hustled the car. Like, it just was just boring. 27 laps, follow the leader, kind of around the bottom, and go home. Traveled. We traveled seven and a quarter hours. Russ traveled just over eight to get there. We weren't allowed to sell our merchandise. Didn't have, couldn't accommodate us. Got 150 acres, couldn't accommodate us, you know, and then give us a surface that is just flat out boring to race on for, for me. Some people like that. And if you do, I mean, cool. But I mean, it was just around the bottom, the middle. I mean, you see a couple of times I tried to run the middle and it was just dirty and cars would pass me. But it was just a frustrating night. Um, if I would have been really close, to, I don't know, man. But I'm very lucky I get to do this. I'm very lucky I got to travel to another track. Um, it was me, Russ, Mikey, my mom, who ended up going for no reason because we couldn't sell merch. So she just, I mean, it was hot. She stayed around a fan and all that. I mean, it was 100 degrees up there. Um, Josh was there. Um, we we. We did a lot of things trying to get better for the feature, but I just wasn't going to bolt another set of tires on. So even like for the feature, like I couldn't drive the car hard because I wore out the right, about half the right rear and practice in the heat race, like trying to do stuff. So for the feature, we took gear out. We like picked the nose way up in the air, slammed the, 
on slam the rear on the ground, pop ups on the front, like put a more wing in the front and rear. I tried a lot of stuff, and it was better for the future. But the track was also you know taking latching just a little bit of a little bit of bite or cleaned off or whatever it's going to be. It wasn't quite rubbered, but the, the, it was abrasive all night. And we only have one tire. I'm really going to have to get some hard tires put in the trailer for these tracks that are just murdering tires. So I had six races in a row. I wasn't going to bolt on. I had a brand new right rear on, which is 350 bucks, And I had some used 94s that I put on from the Top Gun car from last year. And, um, you know, that's what we ran on the car. And they're junk. Car's still in the trailer. I was going to um, unload it tonight, but I didn't. And I said it's Tuesday. It's a uh, Monday. Tomorrow's Tuesday. I'm going to clean the car Tuesday. <laughs> But uh, it's just it was just kind of a frustrating weekend, you know. I get tracks get slick and we got a race in the slick, but man, it just really sucked to be on that from the very first lap of practice. I mean, I like almost tail slapped the wall in practice. If you watched it, like it was just ah, <sighs> just ah. <laughs> tracks are going to wonder why they don't have a bunch of cars showing up sprint cars are already tough in the south and it's hot the weather's eradicate or not, probably not the ir, i don't know the tra the weather's the weather right and it's hot and it just i don't know it just it makes it seem like the tracks don't care um they, they don't have what they need maybe Maybe they need some advice for like what we need to put on a better show for sprint cars. Um, cause we just can't mechanically build it into the car. Um, at 750 horsepower and I probably could have just had a 500 horsepower motor out there and finish in the same spot I did, but I don't know. We're going to move on to the next one. We're racing two weeks in Volusia. Um, get back home, get some speed back in us, get some confidence back in us. Um, try to find a little bit more speed for the January race and um, go from there. I mean, thanks to Rhino Roofing, Rust Noise, uh, Rust Noise Company, Sirocco Electric, Countryside Arabian Farm, Crossroads, Interlock and Brick Paving. Uh, the Moss Racing Engine was running great. The KH uh, suspension that we had on the car was um, adjustable and we did a bunch of stuff, but I don't know. We're just missing something. We're going to figure it out. And once we do, we're going to be bad fast up there. Um, maybe we get some tracks where we can show off the speed of the car and we can still learn and figure out what to do in the slick. So thank you for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed Dixie. It was quite dusty. It was quite slick. I think I tore one tear off all night and, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know if we'll go back. I, I just, July rays could have hung out with the family by the pool instead of burning on hundreds of dollars of tires off the car for $375 you know they gotta they gotta do something to help us we're all hobby racers um we all do this for fun and when it's not fun we don't want to show up and uh jack's gotta help us have fun and remember that we are hobby racers but until the next one later